could say that Yes Magazine started when Liza Gokungwei kept calling for three years running with this idea that she said her brother had. Who noticed that there was no legit, glossy showbiz magazine in a country where showbiz is such a big thing. The first cover story was Miss Judy Ann Santos. She was single then. We shot in her home because we thought we didn't want to set up a movie star in a hotel because what we wanted to do was a showbiz magazine. Bring the star closer to the reader. By year 2001, na established na ng Yes na celebrity homes sa Yes yan. Na established na, na pag weddings, yung travels. Sa amin nag-umpisa yun eh, sa amin na uso. Talaga ng showbiz at ng mga readers na iba yung Yes. To build a name, I think essentially is to do good journalism. The rules of ethics, accuracy, fairness, balance. I would apply all those rules. I think the stars were beginning to trust us. Nakakatuwa na yung mga maraming first nila, first din namin, nagkakasabay. Highlight ng 2003, yung Chris Aquino, Corey, na nagyayakapan. Gusto lang namin mangumusta, so pumunta kami doon. I guess we just wanted to find out how she was. Maybe she wanted us to feel at home. She started to talk. This is the stuff that yes can use when you think about it. We all had the instinct not to put out a tape recorder. No, it would not be proper. I said to Anna, Anna, let us just memorize this thing. If it, she says the word off the record, then we don't use any of it. If we don't hear that, we memorize. Kaya si Chris hindi namin makakalimutan. It was five years of hard work before we hit 100,000. What we had on the cover was no face. Essentially, what we had was the house in Italy of Alex and Assunta de Rossi. The reason this is significant, I guess, is because it's very difficult to breach the 100,000 mark. Many magazines survive on 10,000, even 20,000. So the fact that we did 100K means we must have been doing something right by our readers. We had our first lawsuit at around this time. Test here was not just the lawsuit in itself, but how to maintain your integrity your decorum as a journalist. And I think the fact that Yes just went on and did its job and has survived to celebrate the 15th anniversary, I think it means that maybe we did the right thing.